Shalom, everyone from Toronto. How are you all? Hello, Bonnie. Great. How are you? I'm great. Um, Canada loves their series from Israel, I got to say. And uh, Lior, I want to start with you because uh, I wanted to know what your re initial reaction was to this script. And playing this guy who was so living on the edge, really, you had my heart thumping. I got to tell you, Lior. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, actually, I, I said yes before I read the script. Uh, because uh, <laughs> Lior and Avi, I mean, we're all we were friends and we know many years before and I played with the or in, in Israel TV series. So it was yes, like, you know, right away before reading it. But when I read it, it was even more, I mean, it was actually like a bonus. It was um, um, to play something I didn't play before. Yeah. And uh, uh, the, 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 you know, the mystery guy and uh, the one who walks on the edge and um, yeah, it was pretty cool and fun. Um, yeah. It say. looked like it. It looked like it. Moran, yeah. I want to ask you, uh, you're fantastic in this as well. Um, but I have to say, for a pregnant police officer, she takes <laughs> a lot of risks. She really goes out of her way for her cousin Segev. I mean, what's up with that? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I really, I have to say now, you, you ask a... Uh, uh, the question with a joke, but I will answer seriously. Okay, no, I know. Well, excuse me. Uh, I really thought about it. Um, um, you know, in acting, sometimes you need to some uh, to think about someone you'll do it for. Um, you you'll take you you risk yourself for. Yeah. Um, and when I I said the I have, uh, I really can die for. Um, because this is what she does. Uh, and so, yeah, I imagined my, uh, my father who, who is really a shaky, was a shaky person. And I was always worried about him and I will do anything for him. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, this is what I took, uh, uh, for, for the, for Segev's character, for, for Tali. And yeah. also risk the, yeah, the, the, the most important thing. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Now, Gal, I got to say, uh, we, we last spoke for Losing Alice. I, I loved you in, in that series as well. And now you're playing this guy, Ron, who, again, another character who is just sucked in by Segev. You know, he'll, he, yeah. he will do anything for this guy. I understand, though, you had to gain a little bit of weight for this. Did this piss you off? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, to come to New York and, and to be allowed to eat everything all the time is just very pissing off. And, you know, and, and going to New York and staying there for four months and, and, and playing Ron is something very annoying. It just, I had the best time of my life doing yeah. that. We, yeah. got to, we got to hear you sing and play guitar. Hidden talent you have. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. This, yeah, is, bad, bad, this bad. is what bad, I do bad. in my day job. This is my day job. Yeah, your day job is, yeah, it keeps, <laughs> you know. Okay, Lior, you're going to wrap it up with this, this answer for me. Because as I said earlier, even when I started, we love our series from Israel. I think you guys put on, on the best shows ever. From The Boys, Valley of Tears, Losing Alice, Fauda, this, on and on and on. They just keep getting better. What is the secret? Why does Israel give us such great productions, Lior? I get, well, it doesn't look like, I mean, it's, we're a very low budget industry here. I mean, the, our industry is not developed as in other countries. We don't have a lot of money. It's not private money, uh, usually. And I think, I think the, the magic here is we have to always improvise yeah. while we're shooting. So the creativity, I mean, after doing, after writing the script and, and going to shooting is when we start to shoot here, it's always, uh, it's always with imp improvising, you know, uh, scene and, and, uh, shots and whatever and and thing is when the um, when the american team came to israel yeah to work here they came with the american uh, you know system and uh, and the but, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, of course, with a lot of money, but the reality in Israel that it, you have to improvise. And uh, like in a, in a couple of, you know, there were like two weeks and then they started to work as they, as like the Israelis and yeah. started, to, you know, <laughs> to improvise. I mean, we had a lot of, you know, the, like there was, there was the car chasing there and, and it started to rain. And uh, what, you, what, can, what can you do now? I mean, you know, so this, what, this is where the Israeli industry uh, good uh, in. So I guess it's a lot of, uh, it's, uh, the creativity comes from, you know, the, um, can you say poorness? Yeah. Is it, yeah? So, yeah, yeah. so we're, yeah. Well, I think keep up the good work, magic. all three of you. You're so fantastic in this. Kol HaKavod for this series. I just loved it. And uh, Toda Rabat today for your time. I really appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.